And now, as a special treat... Hello, Alec. Hello. Alec is here, and he's the man who owns the uh, Aliens toys, but also is quite a uh, academic man. He's actually written papers on them. So I think he is well qualified to answer the question that sprang to mind when I saw them. Why? Yeah, that is the question, isn't it? Mm. Um, well, basically, as you said earlier on in the video, um, in the early 90s, uh, Fox decided that they were going to make an Aliens cartoon show mm -hmm. called Operation Aliens. Uh, which was going to be a Saturday morning show very much in the style of G.I. Joe, in which the heroic space marines fought evil aliens and there was no mentions of evil corporations and exploding chests and any of that sort of thing. All the fun stuff gone. Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and then supposedly because Alien 3 was a complete flop in the States, um, the cartoon was nixed mm. and uh, never came out. But loads of companies made merchandise. So there were jigsaw puzzles, board games, uh, high-quality action figures like the ones you see before you. Um, and they ran with it. And uh, Kenner still had the moulds, so they decided that they would uh, make the figures. And indeed they did. And did they sell? I don't really remember them being on sale for long. They sold relatively well, I think. Um, kids weren't really interested in the Marines so much, I don't think. Uh, and then they doubled the Alien line up with the Predator line ah. to create the Alien versus Predator line. And that ran for a few years. And they were all very, very beautiful and understated figures, if I remember. And very movie accurate as well. Yes, exactly. I mean, that's the best Schwarzenegger I've ever seen. <laughs> <sighs> so, basically, the kids wanted the Aliens more, didn't they? In yeah, sense. effectively. Scary um, monsters beating each other up. Yeah, what isn't to like? With their praying mantis claws. Yep, and their tiny little arms for pianos. Um, something else which has always intrigued me is the whole sort of concept of these children's toys based on bloody adult franchises. You've got Robocop, Terminator, Aliens. Were there any others in the pipeline? Or? Um, there, I'm sure there were a few. I mean, you had a lot of tie-in things like the Rambo cartoon in the 80s. Oh, yes, yes, bloody hell. Figure line. I'd totally forgotten about that. That's got to be one of the weirdest. Here's a Vietnam vet who's suffering from horrifying post-traumatic stress disorder. Let's make a fucking cartoon about him, yeah. God. My friend had all the figures, and there were some really cool ninjas in the line. So it was very movie accurate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember when Rambo fought ninjas in Afghanistan? But yes. Bless him. But that was such a weekend. It wasn't on the itinerary, but, you know, these package deals, you have to take what you can get, can't you? Deary me. Bloody... I've totally forgotten that. But, yeah, Robocop was a huge thing, was it? Robocop and the Ultra Police? Yeah, you had you had that, and then you had the... What are they called? The Terminator Future Wars figures, I think they were called, oh, or something God, like that. Oh, God, that rings a bell, yeah. Um, but I think it was... Uh, the fact is that a lot of kids were watching these things a few years after the fact when they came out on video mm. or were on television. And I think it's telling that with a lot of these lines, they seem to come out a few years after the film comes out. So something they couldn't necessarily see in the cinema, but something that they would see on TV or would be in comic mm. books or video games. And the toy manufacturers have worked out that this is cool in the playground. Yeah. And we can definitely shift a few units of this. Away we go. Yeah, yeah and I think that's in part why you start to see in the 80s all of these kids' toy lines based on uh, franchises aimed at uh, not-kid audiences. Mm. Poli although not as extreme in the horror thing, there was even a Police Academy cartoon, wasn't there? Wasn't there? Um, I'm slightly worried that I've been... No, there definitely was, because yeah. there was action figures, yes. My God, I had this horrible feeling that I'd made it all up for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a uh, really weird... And very, very cartoony designs in the figures. I'm sure that came off a cartoon, but... There was never anything really interesting, like, uh, I don't know, Man Bites Dog, the cartoon, or uh, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer, The Ongoing Adventures. Well, I, I always hoped they'd do an adaptation of Blade Runner into <laughs> a kid's cartoon. Oh, think be... of the toys, man. Yeah, or The Thing. Um, yeah, the thi Oh, The Thing would have been beautiful. Yeah. yeah. They did do toy lines based on uh, Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th, apparently. Good God. Um, somebody was telling me the other day. Um I've not seen those, but apparently they do exist. So, really, they would they would market the hell out of anything back in the day. 
bloody hell, that is, well, yeah, when it's a specifically a horror franchise, that really is, well, if the kids will buy it, we'll sell it to yeah. them. Yeah, which is why each one of these figures came with a pack of cocaine. Oddly, they're always used up on the second-hand market. Yeah, finding one in mint condition is a bit of a... <laughs> What's the street price of that bishop? Yeah. <laughs>